So it's finally time. After months and months of waiting, we have a new fragrance. And it's really weird because we had this big blast of new releases kind of towards the middle end of this year. There was new stuff coming out all the time. I had new uh, first impressions coming up on the channel almost a couple times a week, it felt like. And then it just completely shut off. I believe our last new release was Versace Eros Parfum. That one just kind of came up out of nowhere and then we haven't had anything new since then. But a new fragrance was launched from Dior and it is available. You can purchase this one directly from their website right now. So, you know, you can jump on this instead of waiting months for it to be available here in the US. Of course, about time, it's Dior Homme Sport the 2021 version. So yeah, they call it 2021, even though it's coming out like a month before 2022. Actually, if you look on Fragrantica, it's kind of funny because it says Dior Homme Sport 2021 was a fragrance launched in 2022. Mind blown. So we can see we have the sleeve here, the new fragrance. I did purchase this from Dior's website. You will find a link down below. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We'll see how it smells, how it compares to all of the other Dior Homme Sport fragrances. We've got three of them here, the 2017, the 2012, and the 2008. We'll see if there's any similarities to those or we'll see if it's a whole new fragrance. Let's jump into this. So here's the bottle. You can tell this is new because they are switching over to uh, the Dior writing up there in the cap, kind of like Dior Homme 2020, the new Dior Homme Intense, that sort of thing. Uh, if we just go ahead and compare this to Dior Homme Sport 2017, you can see the bottle stays basically the same uh, in terms of the shape. Honestly, even the color of the fragrance looks very similar. Uh, sport at the bottom is in the same color. Do we have a red? Okay, so we don't have a red uh, ring around this atomizer on the new one like we do the old one. Just a few key differences there. Uh, all in all, looks pretty classy, pretty nice. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and grab this one, get it on skin, and we'll see how it is. Atomizer's nice, as you would expect. So this one opens up with a little bit of a kind of mature smell. So I'm getting a, a sporty fragrance for sure. I'm getting some citrus, a nice fresh blast in the opening, uh, a lemon, like a very strong lemon note, at least to me. Uh, you can, it cuts through everything here. But then there's these, these woods, these spices kind of coming through around that lemon, citrus, bright pop opening, kind of uh, giving it some support. So let's go and take a full look at the note breakdown here. This is from Fragrantica. I'm sure they got their notes directly from Dior, but I haven't cross-checked it yet. Up top, we have aldehydes, bergamot, and lemon. In the mid, elemi and pink pepper. And in the base, olibanum, woodsy notes, and amber. So when you look at this, right, there's some notes in here that wouldn't really seem like they would fit in a sport fragrance. Of course, the uh, olibanum, the amber, even the elemi to some extent. But I mean, when you smell this, it is lemon, like right there. Even still, now that it's had a little bit of a chance to settle down, picture it like this, okay? You have this lemon note in the center, right? It's punching through everything, right? It's kind of like when the sun is shining through the clouds. There's a whole bunch of clouds all in the sky, but the sun is still piercing through. That's kind of like what the lemon is doing here. Even though you have these heavy notes around it, you've got the amber, a nice resinous heavy note. You have the olibanum, you have the elemi, right? There's some woods, there's some slight smokes in here. Uh, the pink pepper gives it that spiciness that I was talking about in the opening, but the lemon is still punching through like crazy. It's honestly quite impressive to me that they were able to balance this in such a way that you still pick up on that citrus note even though there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. And I guess I should say it's kind of a lemon, but with a tart bergamot smell as well. But between the two, I get more lemon. Uh, the aldehydes are prominent. That's kind of making the scent a bit more light, a bit more airy, a bit more wispy and fresh. I think that provides a nice balance to the woods, the amber, the elemi, the olibanum, that sort of thing. Like I mentioned, there's a bit more of a maturity to this one that I found was a bit absent in the other Dior Homme Sport fragrances. So I'll just smell some of these other ones off the atomizer here, 2017. Uh, this one is more fresh, more musky. Uh, very clean smelling for sure. It's a sporty fragrance. Probably this is what you would think of more when you think of a sporty fragrance, right? Just super fresh. Not a whole lot of uh, kind of a challenging balance to it, like they're pulling off in the newest Dior Homme Sport 2021. Again, that one does have 
kind of a, a different take on a sporty fragrance, which I think is cool. And then of course the OG, well, not OG, OG, but <laughs> the one that was very prominent for a long time, making a whole bunch of videos back when it was in its prime, Dior Homme Sport 2012. This one's also really nice. And what's special about this one is it does have the iris note. They did take that out of the 2017 and now the 2021, which I figured was gonna happen, but this one does have the iris. It's classy but I wouldn't really say it's necessarily mature. It's still very sporty, very fresh. And then the true OG, I suppose, Dior Homme Sport 2008, really cool bottle with that slightly greenish tint to the fragrance color. I don't know if you can see that or not, but when you compare it to like the 2012, there's ever so slightly a green tint. I think this one looks great. Black accents, red on the collar there. Let's give this one a spray. It's been a while since I've smelled it actually. Also very fresh, very invigorating. So to me, it's quite interesting, but I have to say, I'm quite happy with this. Now, as it's dried down a little bit more, I am actually picking up on some slight, slight similarities to the 2017, just a little bit. And this is after it's been sitting for maybe about six, six and a half minutes now, um, somewhere around in there. Uh, slight similarities to the 2017, but again, still I'm getting more woody depth some more spiciness, some more amber, and that lemon slash bergamot combo is still there. Now that it's had a little bit of time to sit down, the lemon is stepping back, the bergamot's coming forward a little bit more, so now it's kind of like they're fighting head to head. When you first spray it on, it's basically lemon all the way. A little bit of bergamot tartness, but the lemon's the star of the show. Now they're balancing out, you're still picking up on the woods, the elemi, that's a unique note that does tend to give things kind of a, almost like a foresty, mature, resinous type of smell. It's quite unique. If you smelled something like Dior Midsummer Night Dream, that is very Elemi heavy. It smells like a magical forest, right? There's something very cool about that note and you do pick up on it here. I think this is actually really nice. It is far exceeding my expectations here. I'm not going to say that I thought this was going to be bad, but you know, I'm not overly excited, never have been overly excited about really any of the Dior Homme Sports. Really like the 2008, really like the 2012. The 2017 was a bit of a letdown for me and then they took a little bit of a break there. Uh, this though, I have to say, I like this. So it's a little bit too early to do the Fragrantica comparisons. There are none yet. Surprisingly, I thought there's gonna be a bunch of the troll ones, but there's not. So uh, we can't cover that part. I'm trying to look on here. There's not really a whole lot to see, probably some reviews, uh, but that's kind of where it is. I like this a lot, you know, that woody, slightly smokiness, spiciness, a kind of mature smell that it has, almost a little bit gentlemanly and it's kind of mature, a little bit rich. It almost has this slight aromatic fougere quality. Like it doesn't smell like an aromatic fougere, but that type of style of fragrance, a bit more mature, a bit more uh, traditional and classic, it has a tiny bit of that. This is like a sport fragrance for a grown man. You know, if some of the other sports were not really for you, they were a bit boring, you know, whatever. Maybe they didn't portray what you wanted. They didn't give you that confidence. I think this one would. I think this one would get you a lot of respect from people. So being that it is a sport, it's an eau de toilette performance is something we'll have to touch on. I do have decent hopes for this. I think given the base that we have in here, I think it'll be solid. You know, I don't think it's going to be a monster of a fragrance. It's a sport fragrance after all. But if we could get six, maybe a good seven hours of longevity, I would toss it up and say that's a win. You know, I'm not expecting a ton of performance out of a sport fragrance. None of these have been beast modes. You know, if you want that from Dior, you could go to any of the Sauvage fragrances. You could go to Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme Parfum. They got plenty of beast modes since even Dior Homme 2020. I don't think this is gonna be that but I don't think it's gonna be a, a three or four hour scent either, at least I hope not. It's kind of like with their last couple releases, Sauvage Elixir, and now this one, they're kind of going in the mature direction here. You know, tossing out something that is, uh, you know, not Sauvage, youthful and playful smelling, which I think is cool. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That's Dior Homme Sport 2021 coming out in 2022, I suppose is how it's being looked at here. I like it a lot, I, you know, I was not expecting to. I wasn't super fired up about this video. It's cool to be able to do a first impressions again after months of not being able to, but I, you know, I wasn't super excited, but I have to say far exceeds my expectations. I encourage you to give this one a try. I will link it down below. If you have tried this one yet, let me know what you think. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.